Hello, I'm Rob Smith of the Smith and the Black Channel here at Ticker Talker, wishing you all a happy Friday. We've got a long weekend coming up. Market's closed on Monday, so uh, just be aware of that. So we want to see what we got coming in here. So, much ado about nothing, pretty much, but we'll take a look at the SPY. So, SPY, here's we've been watching all week, upper middle, going inside week, all right? So, no tachi. So we did have a little bit more volatility this morning, and it came off of something that we know about from yesterday. So if you go down to the 60, and I'll blow this up for you, here's what you can expect. So one of the reasons you want to watch multiple time frames is you're going to see, we know this is inside. We can expect back and forth action. And so you can see this here, the broadening formation price discovery within the inside week. The slight higher high, the slight lower low slight higher high and then boom take them all out in one shot and then stabilize and so what you'll notice uh, when you do have like a spike in volatility even a little one like this a lot of things would look like the futures right on the opening and then as it stabilizes you get to see whether there's um, any natural buyers or sellers out there and anything so let me write this down Hold on. and so um, yeah we can expect this back and forth so eventually it's going to take that out, or it's going to take that out, or it's going to keep going, right? And that's going to be your break of your inside week next week if you can get out of there. Another thing about it is we've got a short week, and so there's a good chance that you get a whole bunch of uh, inside, more inside weeks, right, because there's less time. So if you go to the monthly here in the lower middle, this is also something you want to avoid. Let me shrink this down for you. All righty. Here. As, as months go on, you want to avoid anything that's not moving. And you can see this, doji on the month. That's bad. So, you, yeah, you're going to get a little bit back and forth, but then you're going to go inside and you're going to rot. So we'll, you'll see this action like in CTXS here. So you can see this on the month. This is still an inside month, right? However, we've been watching this because of this outside week and then hammer and coming back through. Now you notice that up the upper left, all three of these days are within here, right? And so that's the same thing that's going on. And then you get this price discovery like so. Here. Price discovery broadening formation. Eventually that's going to have to come out of here. Another thing you want to remember on a Friday uh, is if you're trading something that's really low premiums, it might be a slow mover, but if you look at something like Ford, I was talking about this this morning, you're going to see this yesterday going through the 10 strike and then closing up in here. So if you're going to stay long that, you could buy the 10 puts for almost nothing, right? And then when it comes back down through, right, you're protected and you might, might even make a little bit more depending on how far that goes. So just a little advice on that. Okay, so it's a little fragmented out there today. Uh, QQQ here got hit a little bit and you can see the slight higher high once again. Slight lower low. There's your broadening formation in QQQ. And once again, for the 60 SPY, potential rev strat. Because here, this is what we look for here. Up here, you can see this outside bar, then an inside bar, 3-1. That tells you they're waking up. They were willing to pay up and sell down. Then they met in the middle, and then whammo. Then we got the hit. Right. So right now, inside, and then pokes up. So these two are all inside of here. So we want to know if we can take out the, the highs of the last hour or the lows of it, because this would rev strat back down. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. So we got... Uh, Amgen coming up here. And Amgen, lower middle. Notice this inside month to the upside. That tells you all month we can look for this thing anytime it has full time frame continuity to the upside, which it does. Green, green, green on the 60s. So just starting our new 60. Any good entries on this here? Here, this on the 30, pokes down. This is a 2-2 reversal back through right here on the 30. That's how you get in on something like that. Uh, if we go to... Clorox fighting back. Clorox, prefer the downside here. You can see this on the lower middle, the inside month to the downside. But on any given day, right, there's exhaustion risk anytime you go into the lows, right, here. And then on the daily yesterday, you can see this, and then boom, coming back up through this old outside bar. You'll notice these two now become an outside bar of this, right, of these, right? So that's what we look for. Now it's just kind of hit its magnitude. We'll see what goes on there. If we go to TWLO, and TWLO here, just anything that's taken out yesterday's highs because the market came in. So we'll see if this sets up again, kind of stalling out here. Yeah, we got two hours of inside, so we'll be careful on that. We go to SWTX, hitting highs right now. This thing, 
Springworks Therapeutics on the move here, and we like them nice long green bars, and off she goes. Uh, outside week, upper middle, all right? So we'll see if we can catch anything faster on this name, 15er. There you go, right now. This is a measured move, and so is this, all right? Here's stop them out, hammer, then inside, 2-1-2 two, two measured move, then a 2-1-2 two, two, followed by 2-1-2 two, two measured move. Uh, we'll see if that one keeps going. We've got uh, some of these crappy restaurants start to come up there a little. Uh, Wendy's having a nice morning, but we'll see. Stalls out on here. A little jack-in-the-box. They had a few of these restaurants popping up, but we'll see jack-in-the-box going to the highs of the day right now. Watching to see what these futures want to do over here. Just kind of stuck. Uh, we do have a little rotation into utilities today. And you can see that taking this highs out. And still an inside week, but green. See if anything comes of that. AEP, I think, was popping its head up over there and going outside day to the upside. Uh, we've got uh, iRobot was coming up here a little bit. And iRobot now stalls out on the inside 60s, but anything green on all time frames gets my attention always. If we go to UTHR in the bio. And UTHR inside the 60 stalls out here, but you're going to notice this here on the daily upper left. Stop them out, bottom of the try. Broadening formation with the slight higher highs. So you can see that on the 60 real clear. So we want to see if this is going to be strong enough to go take this out and continue to broaden, thus the name. If we go to Arna, and Arna here was inside day the upside backs off a little bit so we'll see if this thing sets up again what's the 30 look like here we go and this is what's what you look for triangle them out side 30 and bam back to previous range now it just stalls out a little bit now that it does that see if that sets up again uh, if we go to facebook and facebook you can see this broadening formation here so we know we prefer this to the downside but Friday could be a good day to short cover. You're still inside on the day, so we're aware of that. But it's fighting back a little bit to see if it can take out that or stay inside for uh, next week. If we go to OLLI, Ollie, Ollie waking up. What the heck's this on the, on the weekly? There you go. And then you're outside and then comes up, takes it out. The good part about here is it's still a reversal month in the lower middle. Takes out the low, then takes out the high and comes back to previous range. So it took care of business on this, and that's what this is. So we'll see if that has any more power to keep coming up uh, towards these kind of guys. Uh, if we go to Akamai. And Akamai goes outside weak. So when this turned green for the week, we know outside bars exist, right? So you can see this slight lower low. The slight higher high in the daily, there's your broadening formation right there. It also had the outside day, and then boom, up here, now just kind of stalls out. We'll see if there's anything more to that. If we go to IRTC, in IRTC, here you can see this on the weekly, the two up, the down, and then back through the range, slight lower, the lower low, and the higher high. There's your broadening formation right there. You can see it right here on the daily. What that's doing is taking out last month's highs you see stop them out down in here and now coming back through so irtc good this month uh over 249.45 we go to a little guy pola and pola we'll see a little shenaniganer and we'll see if that sets up again on a 60 right now just kind of sitting there so we'll see if that can take out this 60 high come next hour if we go to some downside here we had banks come out with some earnings in city corp ow Citicorp, here you can see how it goes out in the highs right into earnings. That's a problem, especially when you come back through the previous range. This is called a kicking pattern, right? Back through the range. Now we'll see if it's weak enough to take this out. You'll notice here on the 60, the down, the inside, down. Now we're going to see if we can take out more of this stuff. Uh, let's see, JP Morgan, how you doing? JP Morgan a little better. How about Wells Fargo? Yeah, Citicorp seems to be the one so far. Um, another thing we noticed was uh, SMH. They turned on SMH. So SMH, see this in the daily, takes out the high, and then boom, there's your two, two reversal here. Still good on the week and the month, so it's not the end of the world. And you can see these three hours going inside here, but uh, certainly we saw some early weakness there. And you're going to see things like Corvo doing the same thing, two up, then two down. All right, now just kind of stuck in here. And especially NVIDIA. 
And NVIDIA, we've been watching this broadening formation for a while, haven't we? We have. And so it came back up in here. If you go to the weekly in the upper middle, you're going to see the outside week pokes up and now coming back through, right? So we know that this is a broadening formation. So right now we're going to see if they can finish the job because we knew about NVIDIA yesterday because it was inside day and down when the SMH was strong, right? It was. If we go to Sedge, Solar Edge, Solar Edge having some issues here on the day and you see this inside day in the upper left to the downside all right what that does also here is you can see the monthly now it's potential outside month anytime this is red and all these red full time frames kind of near the downside the weekly this took out the high and this took out the low there's your reversal on the week all right so we'll see if that stays weak right now just kind of firming up a little bit a lot of things drying up and doing nothing so if we go to John Deere that's been strong but once again, you can see this here, the higher high, the shooter, the 2-2 reversal back through the range. So we'll see if we can be weak enough to take out this. Uh, let's see, Beyond the Meats is coming up. What's that doing here? And Beyond the Meats still an inside day, but it's firming up just a little bit. Remember, on the monthly here, we're looking to go outside month in the lower middle. If we go to UPS, and UPS, we know about this monthly here in the lower middle inside bar takes out one side then boom coming back through rev strat style right you're still inside on the week right we'll be aware of that but we're certainly coming into next week but here they had a little relief rally once again the higher high the 2-2 reversal back through previous range so now you can see this here slight lower low we're going to see if it's going to be weak enough to take that we can watch that with the trannies right now just going inside 60 like a lot of things drying up Markets seem to be firming up just a little bit here, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that. We also had in the trannies uh, some trucker weakness a little bit. CHRW, outside day to the downside, not totally killing them, but uh, JB Hunt trucker. How you doing, buddy? They're firming up here a little bit too, but once again, just knowing what to look for. The two up, the two down, all right? Takes out the high, takes out the low, back to previous range. If we go to ENPH. And ENPH having some trouble here. And you see, still an inside week, and we're going to be aware of that. And it's still green on the month, right? But you did do this. Shooter, back through previous range, 2-2. Two, two. And they hit it fairly nicely right out the shoot. But a lot, a lot of, like a lot of things we're seeing here, a lot of things got hit out the shoot and then kind of dry up. So we'll see as the day goes on. Still trying to recover as this market. If we go to DRI. DRI also recovering. But just going to keep an eye on this next week here is you'll see this potentially three outside bar take out one side and then boom if we can take this out we'll be looking to take these guys out and if that works setting up the rev strat month so either way on this because you had the inside month lower middle take it out and you can see the exhaustion risk by going to the highs buyers didn't step up and if we can take this either one bar or set that up you got a little time on that month though if we go to kc in the sunshine band in kc does this here this was a two down right by taking out the previous low take out the previous high and then boom right here right and that sets up the potential outside week right and red on all time frames you'll notice here on the 60 you had this inside 60 down inside down and that was also an outside bar 312 the downside now trying to form an inside uh, hour if we go to coop and coop Setting this up on the weekly. Shooter counters hammer. That's something we'd want to know about, right? Still handling an inside month, but this thing moves around enough to uh, have some fun with it. And you can see here, yesterday took slightly took out the high. Then when it turned red here, we're looking for an outside day, which you got. Then, if that rejection of this is still expanding, today you come down and you take these guys out, which you did. The question is going to be weak enough to come down through here. We'll see. All right, still lackluster market. Just a couple more here. RH and our H here, the things we look for are now starting to firm up on the 60. But once again, the rev strat day. Inside day, take out one side, then take out the other. Now the magnitude is to take out this, which it did. Question is, are you going to be weak enough for that? So anytime you see something like this, you just go to your 60. And now you have your broadening formation. Oops. like so so you can keep an eye on that does it expand or does it come racing back through the range all right always running out of time but i got one more for you eh 
and EH coming in nicely here, and you can see exhaustion risk by going into the highs, right? And so here on the daily, goes up into the highs and then goes turns red. When it does that, we're looking for an outside bar, which we got. If you go to the 30, you're going to see this. Not only did gap up into here, then this is a 2-2 reversal. But if you got stopped out here on the inside 30, inside 30 to the downside right here. Bam! And down she goes. And that's going to give you the broadening formation. Like so. All right. So I uh, hope everybody has a nice long weekend, and we'll see you Tuesday. And I hope you had a great weekend. It has been a better long weekend. All right. It's going to do for today. I'm Rob Smith. This is the Black Channel here at Ticker Talk with Strat Time Report.